So we're on day number two of 21 days of prayer and fasting. I don't know if you can see behind me up there is a lovely rainbow that's just after kicking off. So I said I wanted to just record this while the rainbow was there. Just again, God's sovereignty, God's lordship over all of creation still speaks to us of his beauty in the midst of all the pain and suffering that's going on. God is still on his throne. Can I have an amen, a shin will there in the comments? God is still on his throne on his throne and ruling and reigning even with all the pain that's out there his beauty is still there if you can look up and just see it his beauty is still there but i also want to just bring out today's prayer devotional that we're looking at again i want to remind you that you can get the booklets online if you download online underneath our advertisement video there on both facebook and youtube and so today we're looking at jesus is lord and the whole area of meditating on that, that Jesus is our Lord. He's not only our Savior and our King and baptized in the Holy Spirit and all else that comes with that. He's also Jesus, our Lord. And we call out to Him as our Savior and as our Lord. That's the beginning of salvation. I'm going to look at uh, the passage of Scripture for our meditation today. And if you've got your booklet, maybe join along with me on day number two. Look what it says there. Hopefully now I can read it while the wind is blowing. It says in, in Romans chapter 10, verses 9 to 11, it says this, If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that, <laughs> sorry, for it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. As scripture says, anyone who believes in him will never be put to shame. That's Romans chapter 10 verses 11 or 9 to 11. Sorry, the wind is blowing my pamphlet here so to read it. But I just want to remind you from that scripture there, you know, it clearly is a foundation of our faith that Jesus is Lord and that as we believe that and confess that that's the beginning of salvation. Even Jesus said, I'm building my church on that that you are the son of the living God, you're the Messiah. It's each individual and as a community and as families and as a church that we declare out Jesus, your Lord. And what that means is also not just making a statement, but we really believe it in our hearts that we really trust him and obey him as Lord. You know, really do what he asks us to do. Again, another scripture verse in our meditation today is Luke chapter 6, verse 46, where it says this. But why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do the things which I say? So when we call on Jesus as Lord, we're trusting him that he knows what's best and we, we truly follow him. We trust him to obey him. It's not an obedience and out of a kind of a, a harsh obedience. It's an obedience because, yes, you really know what way to bring life to us now and into eternity. And so as we meditate on that, Jesus as Lord, we're going to pray along those lines. Another scripture verse out of Philippines chapter 2 verses 9 to 11 says this. Therefore God has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every other name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, and of those in heaven and of those on earth, and those under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. And so that's what we're called to do. And everybody will do it eventually in the end, but we're called to do it out of genuine faith and submission and out of the volition, free volition of our own will to turn around and say, Jesus, you are my Lord. So let's pray along those lines as we meditate today. Father God, we ask that you would help us to truly see Jesus. Holy Spirit, help us to truly see Jesus, not only as a prophet, but as Lord and as God. Help us, Lord God, to truly bend our knee to him, to truly follow him, trust him in our salvation that you Jesus our Lord help us Holy Spirit help us Holy Spirit as a family help us Holy Spirit as the church that Jesus you are Lord of the church you are the head of the church to truly trust you in all things both now and into eternity and Father God we ask that that revelation of you Lord God true Jesus and that the revelation by the Holy Spirit of Jesus himself would come true to all our family members all our church and that we would bow the knee at a deeper level that will truly confess you and know that you are risen from the dead that you died and you rose again and truly enter into a greater 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 depth of your salvation that's in you and Lord Jesus may we truly obey you in all things trusting you in faith and also that that revelation of you Lord Jesus would come throughout 
our church and throughout our lives and through the city in both our words and in our actions and that into the city that people will truly instead of rebellion rebelliousness and we can say that very much in Cork instead of having a, a, an identity of rebelliousness the rebel county have a, an identity of submission and good submission to you Jesus and faith in you that you are Lord of my life my family people around me the church the city Jesus you are Lord can I have an amen be blessed and be a blessing God bless you again remind you to download the booklet and you can look at it on your phone or on your computer or print it off be blessed and be a blessing God bless you